New York City's Times Square has long been considered the greatest hub of live entertainment in the country. But it's also been the starting point of the American Sideshow. More than 150 years ago, this art form took shape on variety theater and dime museum stages throughout the city and eventually gave rise to such great institutions as vaudeville and burlesque. For years, people flocked to 42nd Street for all manner of entertainment. But one venue is indelibly etched into the annals of sideshow history. Professor Heckler's Trained Flea Circus, the longest running show on Broadway. Professor Heckler performed maybe 50 shows a day from morning till midnight. And a lot of people, when they talk about Times Square, the old Times Square, that's what they talk about is the flea circus. For more than 50 years, the name Heckler was synonymous with Hubert's museum. In 1957, Professor Heckler left Times Square because he said that the nude shows were giving his fleas a bad name. So now they cleaned up Times Square. I thought it was the right idea to bring the fleas back. Adam Gertzikoff is a Barnum-trained clown who has resurrected the once fabled flea circus nearly 50 years after its Times Square departure. Oh dear, I left the door open. Based out of Rhode Island, Gertzikoff takes his Acme miniature circus around the country. Well, basically, it's a Victorian-style flea circus, genuine, actual fleas, in which I train the insects to perform spectacular circus stunts, as seen before and on top of the crowned heads of Europe. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Madge will dance on the tight wire while balancing this miniature chair and pole. Gertzikoff's half-hour performance showcases a series of miniature stunts performed in a handcrafted arena. Maestro, s'il vous plaît. The spotlight. My show is really based on the experience of the audience. I really want the audience to come in. I sell 10 cent programs because really, if you haven't bought the program, if you haven't bought a postcard, if you haven't been bamboozled by the flea circus guy, you really haven't been to the show. Five, four. Flee! Two! One! You know, my show is really a little miniature theater play that happens to include a, a magnificent spectacle of trained fleas. What? Let me see, let me see! Lights, lights! Ladies and gentlemen, Midge and Madge have made another successful trip through the flaming hoop of death! The Acme Flea Circus reminds us of an era of cheap, popular entertainment before TV and movies took over. For more than four decades, vaudeville was king. And for a time, circus and sideshow acts found a home on variety stages. Today, a hardworking troupe of performers has brought this entertainment combo back to Times Square. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Bindlestiff Family Circus. Amazing Bindlestiff Family Circus. Circus, vaudeville, variety. It's all live, it's all real, and it's all on the inside. So come on, folks, step on down in. Step through the doors, because the freaks are waiting to see you. Come on, sir. Step For the right cost of a movie ticket, an audience is treated to a live variety show right here on 42nd Street. Accompanied by their house band, the Bendel Stiffs take their show across the country to nightclubs, colleges, and art galleries, anywhere they can secure an audience. The Bendel Stiff Family Circus is the brainchild of performers Keith Nelson and Stephanie Monsa, who have been paying tribute to the early days of live entertainment and the vaudeville tradition for almost 10 years. So, without further delay, let me introduce the Empress of Vaudeville, Madame Philomena. My character is Philomena Bindlestiff. I'm the ring mistress of the circus. I MC, I introduce the acts. I lie on the bed of nails. I walk on the broken glass. Oh, hi, everybody. How you doing out there? Are you ready to rock? As we got more interested in sideshow acts, we knew we wanted to tour. We knew we were going to spend the next several years eating out of cans of beans because you, you don't make any money doing this. <coughs> so Bindlestiff was the, the name for us. And it actually is an old word for hobo or traveler. Variations of sideshow standards are included in each show, but it doesn't stop there. I cover quite a bit of ground going from being a tramp clown to doing sideshows. You'll see me spin a rope, you'll see me spin a rope with my tongue. <laughs> so you like the gross stuff, huh? 
I will do a Diablo act, which is like the giant yo-yo. Do the human blockhead. Sword swallowing. I always like sword swallowing because it was the grossest to learn and took the longest of, <laughs> it it, was to gross. some degree. I mean, five ball juggling's taking probably just as long, if not a little bit longer. He would practice every morning. I'd hear him in the living room with a wooden spoon down his throat. It was just awful. Before breakfast, of course. <laughs> the body does not want 24 inches of solid steel going down the throat. I mean, it really, in the beginning, does everything it possibly can to keep you from wanting to do that. <laughs> Um, and, you know, for a couple years, the body said, what the hell are you doing? I don't know if that was enough for you. In true vaudeville tradition, the double entendre is a standard of the act. By the looks of it, a few of you out there probably tried swallowing, I don't know, six to eight inches? Oh. <laughs> but I have a feeling few of you have ever considered the idea of 24 inches. Oh, my God! 24 inches! of solid steel, but you'll be going all the way down my throat, past the heart, the liver, the lungs, the kidneys, and well, tickling the bottom of my stomach. Although based out of New York City, the Bindle Stiffs still take the show on the road. The troupe has expanded beyond its early days as a duo. Now it includes several regulars as well as members who sign up for short stints. Over the past several years, one frequent performer has been Magic Brian, who brings his animal-friendly geek act to the troupe. Tonight, Magic Brian will be doing the famous geek act in which he will be geeking a chicken. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a real rubber chicken! So I warn you now! For those out in TV land, that means biting the head off of a chicken for your perverse pleasure. Um, which is a, actually an act that is classic in sideshow tradition, but has been banned in most states in the United States. And rightfully so, it's bloody awful. Bloody, bloody, bloody. Years ago, live chickens or snakes were part of the geek act. Today, some might think Magic Brian is the real deal. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when the geek was done, <laughs> pardon me, <laughs> blood lodged in my throat. Of course it's real. Are you kidding? Is that a serious question? Everything in here is real, real, real. Or your money back. No, I don't want to say that. No matter what the cost, the Bindle Stiff Family Circus fulfills its mission of providing live, affordable entertainment to the public. The Bindle Stiffs recently lost their residency in Times Square, another victim of corporate progress. But in hobo tradition, they continue to bring their circus on the road, and they may be coming to a town near you soon. It was edgy seat, you know, you ain't expect what they were gonna do next. It was, it was pretty good, pretty good. It's the kind of thing you want to see more of. I'd do it again. <laughs> <laughs>